What's up guys? What's up everybody? What's up everybody? It's Tyler Harris here. Tyler Harris here. Tyler Harris here. Coming at you from the Starbucks drive-thru. I need accountability in my life. And when I'm at home, I don't necessarily have a meeting at 5 or, or 5.30 in the morning that I need to get to. So I don't have that level of accountability where I have to be somewhere. So I wouldn't wake up that early. I'm not afraid to say that. This is, this is the whole thing about the transparency. Like I was waking up at like 6.30 or 7. And I knew that was wrong. Today for me is all about accountability. Um, and for us, it's accountability with life goals. I use my social as an accountability tool to not allow me to get soft. I'm so glad you just said that, man, about accountability, because you're right. Um, people don't use it that way. And that's one thing that I talk so much about, especially lately. I, I do coaching with, with our insurance agents and it's coaching on all the areas of life, not just business. And <clears throat> with that, uh, so many of those conversations recently, and I'm doing a lot of them this week specifically, uh, so many of those conversations, it's all about implementing accountability for those things that you're trying to you're trying to achieve. And a lot of that I have been telling them to use social media because it's what I did going back two years ago. I would jump on Facebook Live every Sunday night as I was heading down to Georgia, which was with the territory that I was working in at the time, and I would set out a goal. And then Monday, I would give a little recap at the end of the day, maybe throughout, here's where I'm at. Day two, I crushed it today, sold 37 policies. I'm at 50, so I'm right on track. I'm actually ahead now. Day three, day four. And it was just the law of attraction for me. Like I was just attracting, I, I was saying the word 75 policies like over and over and over and over to the point where like people, I'm getting on Facebook Live, they're like, where are you at towards your 75 policies? People are sending me messages, like direct messages. Like, hey man, I think you have like what, 11 more today you gotta get? Like, hope you crushed this last meeting. I'm like, this is crazy. Well, what would happen every single week is I would recap at the end of the week, be driving home back to South Carolina, and I would end up with like 76 or 77 or 75 on the dot. And so it was a way for me to be putting out content, be building relationships people with people because it was live content. So now I got this interaction and engagement. And it was one gigantic freaking law of attraction because I'm sitting here talking about, hey, my goal is to do 100 policies, 100 policies, 100 policies, 100 policies. I would have people like on the fourth day sending me DMs saying like, hey man, I know you got your last day today. I think you need like 22 more policies rooting for you to hit 100. Like strangers, complete strangers. And of course, at the end of the three, uh, four days, I would count it up and I'd be like at 102 or 101, like right at what I've been sitting there talking about all week. And so it was accountability. And so, you know, whatever area that is in their lives, like so many conversations I've had this week about people saying like, man, I got to start meditating. I just got to start doing it. Like, I just can't, I just haven't been able to get myself to do it. I was like, well, why don't we just put some accountability? Why don't you just take a screenshot of your Headspace app when you get done and post it on your Instagram stories? That way I'm going to know and everybody else is going to know that if you did it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, oh, there's no photo on your stories on Friday. I guess that means you didn't meditate, right? And people don't realize how powerful that little bit of silly accountability is. Putting it on an Instagram story made you do it, right?